Hey, y'all. Look, I have a confession to make. And this is it. I am a banana pudding snob, and so is my daughter. That's it. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my ladder life. Welcome to a video where I feel it is absolutely necessary to show you all how to make the custard for banana pudding. Y'all, if you have milk, eggs, flour, sugar, and some vanilla, you have everything you need to make the custard for banana pudding. You don't have to go to the store and buy that box of pudding. Now, if you make your banana pudding that way, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. If you put it in front of me, I'm going to eat it and love it. But what I really want you to know is that one, it's really easy. Two, it's just better. <laughs> It's better. I'm sorry. It's better. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, and it's cost effective. You already have everything you need to make it. If you have those ingredients I just named. So, come on. Come on. Come on. Hang out with me. And learn how to make the custard for real banana pudding. The recipe calls for egg yolks. So, I have to separate the whites from the yolks. My refrigerator, for whatever reason, is really, really cold. As a matter of fact, it is freezing the stuff in it. And those whites were frozen to the yolk, and I promise you I was struggling to separate them. That has never happened before. And after this incident, I went and changed the temperature on the refrigerator. <laughs> As you all can see, I had to create a double boiler. Don't judge me, okay? I don't see the purpose in throwing away things that are still working. And even if I had a brand new pot set, I would not throw away that pot. I'd probably drill some holes in it, put some soil in it, and put some plants in it. But anyway, that's another video for another time. You gotta be creative if you don't have a double boiler because you don't want to make this custard on direct heat. So I've added the egg yolk and now I'm adding the milk. And I am going to add the flour and sugar and I'm using uh, a sugar substitute, okay? If you all have been watching my videos, you all know that I should not be eating this. And even though I'm using a sugar substitute, it's still not something that I should be eating because the cookies and bananas are high in sugar and the flour. Anyway, my excuse is that it's Sunday and I really do like to cook on Sundays. And it's cloudy, kind of cool, wet, and it's just a really nice day to fix 
some comfort food for not me, but anybody who might be here in the Cottage Garden House on this particular Sunday. Now, after you have added all your ingredients, you do have to stand and stir constantly until it is thick. And when it is thick, you will take the top pot off of the bottom pot and um, set it aside. And after you've done that, that's when you'll add the vanilla. I just realized that I didn't show you all that there is water in the bottom pot and the water is boiling. <laughs> For those of you who have never used the double boiler before, that's what's happening. There's water in the bottom pot, that water is boiling and heating up the custard. This is one of those times that I could use a kitchen gadget. I remember seeing a, a, a gadget that you would put in something like this, turn it on, and it would stir for you. I don't know. I had to do some research. Do you all know what I'm talking about? If you do, leave it in the comments section. Because I don't cook with salt, I forgot to mention that this recipe does call for some salt, dash of salt. Um, and at this point in making your custard, if you want to make it a little thinner, this would be the time to just add more milk.
Now it's time to put it all together. The first layer, the bottom layer, is custard. Spread it out nice and thin. The next layer is bananas. Then the next is cookies. And then repeat. Custard, bananas, cookies until you run out of ingredients. These are not the regular Nilla wafers, they're the minis. I like the minis better. I think I use more cookies with the minis.
How do you all like your banana pudding? More cookies, less bananas. More bananas, less cookies. More bananas, more cookies. Thinner custard, uh, thicker custard. Tell me, tell me in the comment section how it is that you like your banana pudding. Now, I want you all to notice that I am not putting the custard, the egg, the egg whites, that the meringue, that's it, that's what it's called. I don't like the meringue, so I don't use the meringue. I don't make the meringue. Uh, so yeah, I'll just fill it up, fill my container full of all of this goodness and call it done. If you have enjoyed this, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you would like for someone in your life to do it this way, go ahead and share the video. And if you are liking what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe. All right. Bye for now.